Yo, it's your boy Meets Two Times in the building, Mr. Get Right and Get Left. You feel me? You hear me? And hopefully everything is clearly, man. I am back with another video, you feel me? Hey, man. Guess what your boy got, bro? We got a brand new gun. We got a brand new gun, y'all. Can't say it too loud because, you know, my girl, she gonna be mad at me. But oh well, bro, it don't matter because whatever make me happy, you feel me? And it's content for y'all, bro. It's an investment. But yeah, bro. I got a brand new gun, bro. This is like my third gun in the last six months, bro. But I needed an AR. I needed a 223-556 AR because shooting 300 blackout, y'all know my other AR, bro. That's expensive as shit, man. I ain't gonna cap, but... So, yeah, I was at the... If y'all don't remember, I was at the gun show. I had seen a great AR. It was the Great Lakes GL-15 uh, chamber in the 223 Wild. If y'all don't know about 223 Wild, you can shoot 223 and 5.56 NATO outside of a 223 Wild. So, I basically, it's basically kind of like a, um shooting 223 out of a 5.56, but it's... 223 Wild is made to shoot both, so it's more precise, more accurate and stuff. If y'all don't know, y'all can't shoot a 556 5 NATO outside of a 223 Remington barrel, or else you're gonna blow the fuck up, probably. Well, probably not literally, but it's a chance it might. But yeah, bro, I got this gun from Be More Tactical, and we're gonna do a quick little unboxing for y'all. So as you can see, Great Lakes firearm and ammunition. Bradley made in Michigan, so it's an American made gun. So we just gonna open it up for y'all really quickly. Alright, I can't do that. I gotta put this motherfucker out. It's nothing else in the box. You could possess, you can have it, you just can't purchase it in Maryland, which is stupid. You can't have a 30 round, a high capacity magazine, as what both Joe Biden said, bro. But anyway, we ain't doing politicking, y'all. Here's my brand new AR-15. This is the Great Lakes GL-15, chambered in 223 Wild. Uh, the color, I believe, is tungsten gray. And I got a stainless steel barrel. I was gonna get the nitride, but you know, I feel like the stainless steel barrel goes better with the, with the gray. Cause, I mean, if I was keeping all black on it, I probably would've got the black, but I'm putting new furniture in this motherfucker, man. I'm talking about, I was gonna do purple, but that's probably gonna be in my other AR. Um, if y'all don't know, I like color purple, but um, I'm probably just going, I'm going to change the bolt carrier group to like a, um, like a rainbow blue or just basically more like a blue color. I'm going to change all the buttons, the whole lower parts kit. I'm going to change that to trigger all to blue. I'm going to get an amber dextrous charger handle that's blue and I'm probably going to get a mag, a magpul MOE stock. Change the buffer tube out to the blue and probably change the buffer spring because I was reading reviews online that the buffer springs, supposedly like the weights inside of them are too heavy. Sometimes it's malfunctions, like it's short, uh, short stroking and stuff. But yeah, uh, it seems like a pretty reliable gun for real. Uh, the reviews online, I've seen some bad reviews, but other than that, other people said they had this for like two or three years with no problems, thousands of rounds through them. And yeah, I paid a pretty good price for this. I can't tell y'all due to YouTube regulations, but you can go search it up by yourself. But yeah, I paid a pretty good price for this. But I think it's one to eight uh, ratio for the twist, twist ratio. 16 inch barrel. You got a uh, muzzle brake right here. See the muzzle brake right there, stainless steel. It is key mod, my other, or no, it's not key mod. It is M-Lock, my other AR, my 300 blackout is key mod. But I wanted the, um, the M-Lock. Just because I didn't have, didn't have an M-Lock, and I know M-Lock, there's more M-Lock stuff than key mod, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a 20 inch, is it? Yeah, I think it's a 20 inch or maybe 22 inch handguard. See right there, it says multi-cal underneath here. I don't know if I can see that that well. It says 223 wild, uh, stainless steel, one to eight twist ratio. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be changing out the whole furniture. To custom I thought purple would look good on it but I'm thinking blue would probably look better on it y'all let me know down in the comments below what color furniture would y'all put in here I was thinking red too but I seen too many of those online and I want something more custom to me now I did I did go out and get a few accessories for it already I had just got back from the store right now so I'm gonna show y'all what I'm putting on here so I'm going to be putting a M lock MVG uh, or oh, Magpul M-Lock MVG vertical grip on there and 
I got another one of these little cheap Amazon red dots. I'm probably gonna get a hollow sun. I wanna go to Olight laser light combo. Other than that, I don't know what other modifications I'm gonna make. Like I said, let me know down in the comments below what I should do or what you would do if you had this gun or what did you do if you had this gun. I'm gonna put on the red dot and I'm gonna put on vertical grip right now so I'll get back to y'all when I get done. All right y'all, so I just put the full grip on right now. It was a little bit hard, a little bit tedious just cause I couldn't find the right bit and then trying to get screwdriver down into there and I put the red dot on. I got it on the green center right now. I don't know if I can see that. I'll probably see it a little bit with the red. Let me put it on. I can see it with the red. I got uh, like four different modes. It got like uh, the crosshairs, the dot with the circle in the middle, the red dot, the dot with the circle in the middle and the crosshairs, like all of them combined. Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty good. You know, some people hold it like this. I like to hold it like this, feel me? So it feels pretty good. Like I said, I'm gonna be putting blue uh, furniture in it, customizing it and stuff. Um, the one thing I will say that I noticed so far is this, the um, dust cover. It is a little bit hard to get down in, but I guess it'll loosen up over time. And then when I was using the dummy, the dummy rounds, trying to reload it, they were getting jammed. But um, I'm wondering if that's just because I haven't shot it yet. But you know, you gotta wear stuff in. You know, like a brand new baseball glove, you gotta wear it in. But yeah, this is my new Great Lakes GL15 chambered in 223 Wild. So I will, the next video will be me going to the range, showing this thing off, shooting it, and see how I perform. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on that post notification button to get notified every time I drop, you feel me? And yeah, with that being said, I'll catch y'all on the next video, man. Gang. Go. 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 Uh, I just woke up on camera, got that and she feel like a moose. I sat in the trap with my dog, me and Chris feel like seconds.